cannot do this fail to, to miss Jamie, this week's Run the Risk with me, Bobby Davro and Peter Simon. Why are you doing this to me, Jamie? to a very exciting version of Run the Race! Very exciting because today we're expected in the studio a visit from the Royal Family. And to tell us all about it, give it up to Captain Custy! Hey, Captain <laughs> Exciting, isn't it? Eh? Bobby, oh, Bobby, yeah. please. What? Taste. Is this true what Mitch is saying? We're expecting a royal visit? Yes, it's true. We're having a royal presence right, today. Right, sorry for you two, but how yeah. will I recognise them? Well, you must have seen the Queen, surely. Surely? Her name's Elizabeth. No, I know it's Elizabeth. You would have seen the Queen's picture on the stamps. Yeah, that's what worries me. What? When I recognise her, I might lick the back of her head. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, if you do the show well today, you might get knighted. Right, so what if I do it badly? You'll have to get knotted. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up to Captain Custard. We're into the first day. <laughs> Dingy ducks is our risk to start today. The idea is quite simple. All they've got to do is go round the motor gunge and collect the little ducks that are quacking along in the gunge. The problem is they've undone a bung in their dinghies that will release the gunge and set it flowing. Now, they pull themselves round the gunge as quickly as they can to collect their ducks. And yellow team are doing very well at the moment, hooking them up. Still, I think the red team are doing quite well too. They've, uh, the red team are going down, it's like the boast race. The red team are going down rather rapidly now. <laughs> Lewis and Becky are in trouble, and so are the blue team. The blue team have definitely sung now. <laughs> Look at the red team. The red team. Lewis and Becky are really... <laughs> the blue team are still, still surviving. They're bailing out from... Helen and Paul from the blue team. And, and the, the, come on, yellow team. Uh, the yellow team have got... Yellow team, come on, put some in your revolve. Quickly get... The yellow team now are sinking. <laughs> well, keep going, teams. Get as many as you can. Forget the boats now. <laughs> Bail them out. Just fill up those nets with as many duckies as you can. <laughs> Mitch, I don't believe this opening game. <laughs> right. Let's bail those boats. Come and join me over here. Here. Um, Mitch, I think what I we've think got to do is we'll, we'll give them all the points for the first game because you so. all did a really good job and uh, we've seen them in action. Now let's meet them, Mitch. So let's meet the red team first of all. Here's Lewis Monk, who's 14 years old from Southampton. Lewis likes football and going to wild parties, but doesn't like mushrooms, tomatoes or his sister. He'd like to be a pilot when he leaves school, so let's see how fast he flies today. And playing with Lewis, here's Rebecca Wilson, who's 12 and from Romsey. Now, her hobbies are tennis and drama, and she likes Oasis, but dislikes dentists and spiders. I agree, they're nasty, creepy, hairy things, and spiders are horrible too. She fancies living in Florida as either an actress, a lawyer, or a model. And the yellow team are Hannah Kinch, first of all, age 13, from Northampton. Now, Hannah likes abseiling and playing the violin. I wonder if her neighbours enjoy it too. She dislikes little brothers, older sisters and Joseph, her teammate. Her hobbies include beating up Joseph and Taekwondo. And here's Joseph Lynch, her teammate, age 13, also from Northampton. Now, Joseph likes abseiling and playing the violin. During a school play recently, he managed to trip over the scenery and break the main character's leg. So watch out the other teams. And finally, the blue team. Here's Helen Ivy, age 12 years old, from Cornwall. Now, Helen loves football, Man United and Ryan Giggs swoon. She has two cats and two horses as well. When she leaves school, she'd like to be a teacher. Her hero is Ryan Giggs. And here's Paul Roach, also 12, also from Cornwall. Now, Paul likes tomato ketchup, sports and playing the guitar and drums very loudly. I'm glad I don't live next door to him. When he leaves school, he'd like to be a professional footballer and play for Man United. He'd also like to travel the world. You don't want much, do you, Paul? We don't want much, but we do want Margarita Packetan. Uncanny, isn't it? Okay, rules of the game, quite simple. What you have to do, the teams, you have to get as many points as you can, because points make pole position on the run the wrist one way. And of course, the lucky team that go all the way will win this fabulous prize. Do tell us what it's all about, Mitch. I'll tell you what it's all about. The star prize today is this fantastic piece of technology, a new solar-powered camera. Ooh. <laughs> 
Right then, Pierre. Yes. Pierre, Captain. Are you all sorted now for the royal visit? We're all prepared. Good. Preparation HRH. Preparation HRH. Good, because I've got piles of things to get. Right. Now, the first thing we need for the royal visit, we need, it says here, we need a royal coat. Got no those? problems. Royal coat. Bring on the royal coat, Bring please. on the royal coat. Royal coat. Royal coat. Royal coat. Who's, who's this? Who's this? It's a royal coach. Not that kind of royal coach. Get off out of here. Dear, oh dear. Well, now, God, the next thing we that. need, the next thing we need is a red carpet. Ah, now. Very important, that. Couldn't get red carpet? All oh, right. So I got black lino. Black lino? <laughs> yeah. Black lino? What good's that? Well, it, it's easy to clean in case she brings the corgis. Hey, yeah, you got a point there, Peter. We keep the lino. We yeah. keep the lino. Right, <laughs> the next thing we need, the next thing we need is, of course, somewhere for her to sit. A royal box. Royal box. Yep. Have you got one? Here is the royal box. <laughs> this is the royal box. That's no good, is it? Why? Well, for a start, it's too small. She's got nowhere to put her chips and her half pound of quality street she stuffs in her handbag when oh, she comes to the thing. Never thought of that. All right, we're worrying about that afterwards because it says here, right. royal visits, the most important thing, personal protection. Sorted. Have you? Sorted it for me, have yes. you? Yes. Good. Personal protection. Personal protection. <laughs> Not anti-perspirant, do me a <laughs> favour. Come on, we've got to do the question round number one. Chuck us me dangler. I'm out of here. But Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> Come on, listen up, gang. These are the questions. The first round of questions are on films, and they're worth 20 points each. So, feet on buzzers, and good luck to you all. Which pig is fostered by fly and taught how to herd sheep? <laughs> Blue team. Um, 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 pig, film. Bay. Babe, yes, you got yourself 20 points. Give it up for the blue team. Next question. This is just for the reds and the yellows. Which ghost film is set at Whitstaff <coughs> Manor? Casper. Casper, yay! Give it up for the yellow team. Red team, you're out of there. <laughs> okay, this next question is just for the yellow team and the blue team. Complete the title of this film starring Tom Cruise. Mission <coughs> Yellow Team. Impossible. 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 Well done. But not impossible for you. Well done. You got another 20 points and a chance to run the risk or nominate a team. Who are you going to do? Or what are you going to do? Run the risk. You're going to run the risk. The other team there running the risk. Run the risk. Hannah and Joseph are looking very pleased with themselves, but maybe for not too long. This risk is called bursting out. They've got to burst all the balloons with a giant needle. But the opposition, well, they're going to do their best. The red team, Becky and Lewis there, have got their guns gone, and so has uh, the blue team. They've got 45 seconds, have Hannah and Joseph, to burst all those balloons. We wish you well. Mitch will help you out, I'm sure. I'll give you Here a Here we hand. go. Let's run the risk. <laughs> the revolve starts turning and it's all to... <laughs> They're going away yet. Yeah. Yellow team, carry on. As fast as you can, hand them over. The yellow team are down and uh, Joseph and Hannah are both down. We've lost the needle. That's quite nice. They take the needle from the guy. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Oh. You're not supposed to throw him in. You're supposed to burst the balloons. That's not. Just burst the balloons. Come on, Joseph. Burst the balloons. You've got plenty of time on go the on, clock. Go on. Keep it. Not me, Lewis. Not me. Keep going. Get it. Get it. It's over. A risk, Peter. What a very stupid risk. What a did you think of that one, Peter? I, I bet you did, didn't you? you? I bet you did. Uh, Mitch, I thought they did really well. It <laughs> was difficult, excellent. but they failed this particular risk, so the points are divided between the blue and red team. Mitch, tell us the score. Yes, they've been split rather like your trousers, Peter, between the blues and the reds, which now means the reds are in third place with 40 points, and the yellows, Hannah and Joseph, and the blues, Helen and Paul, now joint leaders with 60 points each. Now listen, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Just <laughs> pretend... <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> hey, now, now, you paying attention? I am. Good, I'm all ears as well. <laughs> now, just pretend that I'm going to knight you. You are going to become... Wait for this. Oh, Sir Peter Simon. Oh, oh, better still, Lord Simon of Custard. Oh, I can My lord. see it. Right, no. right. Yeah, right. What do now, what do I have to do, you lobeness? Right. <laughs> lobeness. Neil. Lobeness. Neil. Neil. Yeah, Neil. Right. Pardon? Neil. No, I'm Peter. No, I'm Neil. Neil. Neil down in front of me. Right. This is the sword. I'll knight him in a minute. Now, I'm Prince Charles. With the powers that I have been vested with my vest, I dub you for your services in Gunge and Custard. I dub you 
<laughs> Sir Simon of Custard. Uh, Home now. Uh, what's the matter now? I've been badly dubbed. Get up here. <laughs> arise, Sir Peter. Arise. arise. You mean uh, I'm getting more money, Bobby? No, it's getting more stupid. <laughs> now clear off, because we've got to go into question round two. Oh, there's no hope for him. <laughs> <laughs> it's attacking me. Right, listen up, gang. Question round number two. And these questions are worth 30 points each, and they are on television programmes. So good luck to you all. Feet on buzzers, your first question. What type of creature is Pingu? <laughs> yellow team. Penguin. It's a penguin, yeah. It's a penguin. Give it up for the yellows. 30 points. Well done. <laughs> this question is just for the reds and the blues. True or false? Stonefish is a character in Home and Away. <laughs> Red team. It's false. False. It's false. Yes, indeed. It's in Neighbours. For the yellow team and the red team. Who is Kathy and Phil's baby in EastEnders? Ben. Ben is the correct time for the yellow team are in there. Well done, yellow team. You get another 30 points and the chance to run the risk or nominate another team to run the risk. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Run the risk. You're going to run the risk, brave people. Run the risk, yellow. Run the risk. Ladybirds in the garden is this particular risk. And why Hannah and Joseph have chosen to take this risk instead of nominating after their last disaster, who knows? Mitch, would you have done it? Well, I would have had my second thoughts, but it wouldn't be called a risk then, would it? It would be a surefire thing, otherwise. Yeah. Well, and talking of surefire things, what's that? Now this, and I'm very unfortunate, the ladybird is going to be fired over the moat of conge. And Hannah has got the giant sunflower, she'll launch the ladybird, and Joseph, over there on the revolve, has got a big net he's going to try and catch all six ladybirds in. 45 seconds in which to secure those 40 points. Good luck. Here we go. Let's run the race! <laughs> Where they go? Joseph's got one. <laughs> Clock running. Hannah <laughs> pulls back. He's doing very well. It looks too easy, Mitch. He's got three. That's a hat trick. That's he's doing very well. He is doing very well. Oh no! Sarah, one of the butterflies, one of the ladybirds has gone haywire. Sunflower down, 25. Oh no! Now we're in trouble now. Oh no! Ladybirds attacking me. Hannah, come on quickly. 15 seconds. 14 seconds, quickly! I think that's about four! You're looking for five! Five, five. five. quickly! Hannah. One more, Seven one more, seconds. one more! Seven seconds! No! Hannah! Come on, Hannah! One more! Hannah! Two seconds! Hannah! Yes! Yes! Hannah! He just got it in! As did Peter! <laughs> you poor How can thing. you... <laughs> we won! Two, three, four, five. You must have got that in the last second. Well done. It's a good job. They get the points. Mitch, how does that affect the scores? So in third place, it's the Blues with 60 points. In second place, the Reds with 70 points. And in the lead at the moment, the Yellow Team with 160 points. Still got a few things to do, haven't yes. we? Now, what can we do? I'll tell you what we the, the Royals, they love doing sports, don't they? Odd oh, sports. Yes. Like polo. Hey, do you like polo? Polo? Yeah. It's the one with the hole in the middle. No, not that kind of polo. No, never mind, Dad. I thought of it. Falconry. That's oh. what they love. Falconry. Oh, very upper-class sport, that is. Right. Put the falcon. I just have the falcon I put my falcon glove yeah, put on. put the falcon glove on. Bring on the falcon. Now, careful don't, with it. Careful Bobby, with it. Careful don't frighten it. All right, I'm all right with it now. Here we go. Steady, steady. Steady, steady. Right. steady. I've got the sausage. I've got the right. sausage on the, str on the string. Here we go. Right. Now, Bobby, it right, should okay. have a safety net, really. All right, all right. Let him go. Let him go. Let go him go. Go on, son. Go on. Go on. Go on. Hopeless, isn't it? It's no good at all. Yeah. What else can we do? Well, oh, I don't know, Bobby. I don't know what. Bobby! She's here! She's here! They're in here! They're in here! Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for Her Majesty, oh. the Queen of oh, England. Right, well, look, 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 look me dangler. I'll Bobby. do the quick fire round, Bobby. and you saw something out. Right, right. God, she's Bobby. here. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby, don't leave me! Yes, indeed, it's getting exciting, because this is the quick fire round. OK, this is the chance now for the teams that are sleeping behind to catch up, because these questions are worth 20 points each. And, feet on buzzers, your first question. Maoris were the original inhabitants of which country? <coughs> Yellow team. Australia. Nah, it was New Zealand, never mind. Rouge is the French word for rich <coughs> colour. Red team. Red. Red for red, yo! <coughs> who, was, who was the first president of the USA? <coughs> Yellow team. George, George Washington. George Washington, yes! <coughs> The leek, the daffodil, are emblems associated with which country? 
Wales. Wales. Wales, that's right, I fool you then. Well, well done, you got 20 Whoa. points, well done. <laughs> Montreal, Toronto and Vancouver, <laughs> cities in which country? Canada. Canada. Canada's the correct answer, yeah, let's score the that question because the buzz has gone just before to give it a chance what name is given to animals which carry their young in pouches <laughs> yellow team marsupials yeah. yes 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 well done it's got to be the yellows isn't it well done there fantastic scoring let's have a look at the scores now yes in uh, third place the blue team with 60 points and second place the red team with 90 points but with a massive 240 points give it up for the yellow team they get pole position on today's final We've come to the South Pole for today's finals, and I know what you're thinking. Yes, I am a walrus, but I look like a split city. Hannah, Becky and Paul, very good luck. They have got to scramble over the ice flow, across the wrap that's very cold, where they meet the penguins. The penguins will go along the ice bridge, down into the deep frost, to the end of the runway. Oh, and it's Captain Scott Daffro. Yes, indeed. OK, I've got to do some running, warm me up. Right. Our penguins run around the maze. They go around the maze. I'm going to take a shortcut into the middle of the maze. Whoa! They collect their frozen logs for me. Above them are fish hidden in the net, caught in the net. What they're going to do is they're going to poke their fish out of the net, get hold of their fish, run all the way back to Peter. Can <gasps> can Once they've got the fish, they'll come back on the runway to the ice bridge. Down the ice bridge. Woo! Very enjoyable. They'll meet their team member. Oh, friction burns on your bottom. They go across the ice moat once again, up to the igloo. Go through the igloo where they leave the fish. Once they leave the fish there, they have to go to the ice slide, right to the very top. Once they go to the top, they'll raise their flag and they're nearly home. All the way back down to the dark, freezing gunge, which is the finish line. The penguins are perky and are about to go on their journey across the South Pole. They'll be set off at timed intervals by our high-tech starter system. And of course, the more points you have, the sooner you go. There's a clear leader here today. The yellow team are 15 seconds ahead of the red, who are just slightly ahead of the blue. Good luck. Blue, you'll need it. Chase like fury. Penguins, we're going in search of the fish. As we say, run the wrist! And away go the yellow. They've got a massive lead. Oh, the yellow's just managing to get up the ice bridge. Off they go, into the ice maze and Bobby. And here comes the yellow team as expected. Oh, the yellow penguin, he needs to go. Go on, penguin, go on. In you go, boy. Go on, the penguin. A lovely penguin. Here comes the red penguin. Here comes the red penguin, he's catching up. I don't believe it. Go on, go on, get in. Go on. Here's the blue penguin. Come on, blue penguin. And it's neck and neck now, as all the penguins are in the ice pole. Otherwise, it's the red penguin that's got the fish first, closely followed by the yellow penguin. Well, Lewis has done a terrific job. He's taken the lead. They were 15 seconds behind the yellow team. Lewis hands over to Becky. Becky's away. Becky goes through the igloo. She's now on the giant slide. Go on, go and help her get up. Lewis goes to help Becky get up the slide. The yellow team come down. We've got it. Hannah's now in. Hannah's gone. Who's the yellow? Who's the yellow? Who's this the is really terrific now. Becky. Becky's doing well. She's holding the rope. She's sliding down. <laughs> this is going to be a terrific final now. They've got it neck and neck. And Hannah from Yeller is going up. She's oh. just been punished. <laughs> oh, no. There it is. It's sad. The blue team are going for it now. Go and help them up. Becky's doing well. <laughs> I don't believe this. Come on, Becky. Hold on. They're doing real battle doing now. Real fight Becky, the two go on up, Becky. Paul's taking over now. Shove them up. Go and now we've got the blue. Paul's got a lead. Paul's got Come a on, lead. Go. The blue team match. Paul's got clear. This is unbelievable. They will last as they started the starting grid. He's got clearly in the lead now. This is an amazing Come on, catch result. Him up, catch him up, Keep lose going, the Paul. Keep going. This is tremendous. What an achievement! He's done it! He's 
I cannot believe you were 16 seconds behind. You are today's champions and you deserve this prize. Well, in fact, you're all going to get prizes. In third place, it was Becky and Lewis, the red team. I really thought Becky was going to get up that slope at first, but never mind, you both get these exclusive Run the Risk hooded sweatshirts. In second place, it was Hannah and Joseph, had pole position, but just beaten at the end. And you both get hooded sweatshirts, backpacks, and trading towels as well. But our winners this week, fantastic recovery. The blue team, Paul and Helen, and we're giving you these fantastic new high-tech solar-powered cameras. Well done. <laughs> Well, I'm bitterly disappointed. She didn't turn up, did she? Oh, Bobby! Her Majesty, Madge! I forgot to tell you! Majesty! Bobby, look in the gun! What? Oh, no! Bobby! <laughs> it's Her Majesty! But it's worse than that, Peter! What? She was riding a horse! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Say goodbye! See ya! Ta-da! <laughs>